Guring are a massive company, very well known for lots of products, milling in particular. But today we're going to talk about grooving, aren't we? Yeah, this is the second year of our market start mm -hmm. of the new uh, grooving and turning line. So it's an it's a incredible project within this uh, big uh, company to start uh, this particular application. Mm -hmm. And you say it's two years old now, how has it gone? How has the rollout gone? The rollout, uh, the rollout um, goes uh, very well. It goes into the right direction. We are growing our sales, our turnover. We are growing inside the factory. We are adding people. So um, it's all going into the right direction. Sure. And if you've got internal grooving, external grooving, both? Yeah, both, as you have mentioned. We have a line of products for um, boring, recessing and grooving inside the bore and also for external application on uh, turning components. And how big is the range? Yeah, what shank diameters? The turning and boring is starting at a 4 mm shank, going into 6 mm. And new at AMB, we have added lines with 8 and 10 mm shank for more rigidity and for larger size bores. And what type of tools? Obviously there's boring bars, but have you got face grooving and other tools like this? Yeah, there's a little niche of face grooving tools, also mainly for small diameter machining. Okay, so where do you see these tools going? Is it people with maybe sliding head lays or, or smaller lathes? Yeah, Swiss type machining, uh, sliding lathes, this is one of our target industries. Uh, difficult to cut materials coming from a bar feeder. And then small part machining uh, going into um, um, CNC turning machines. And hot off the press, you've got your new Guring catalogue, which has grown substantially in only two years. Of course. We started with a program of about 100 pages, went into 170 pages, and finally the catalogue carries approximately 8,000 items inside this 210-page catalogue. You've come a long way in two years. Does that mean you know, engineers are actually buying your product, presumably? It is highly successful. There is an incredible market in the supply chain of the automotive industry machining millions of tiny little bolts and sleeves and axes. Um, I have also figured out a lot of uh, brands in the market recently started this type of tools. There are not only the, the old tradition ones there. So there is a high demand on this market. There is a niche for technology. And you've just got started. This will grow and grow and grow. Yes, it will definitely grow. This is not the end of the line. We have um, Many, I cannot talk that much about R&D projects, but there are many in the line, in the pipeline, um, because uh, we want to go into deeper grooving, uh, parting, indexable inserts, uh, boring, and there's a lot of room for um, expansion. Well, good luck, and I look forward to seeing the next catalog.